Welcome to the third of our three videos of worship for the 16th of January 2022. Uh, in this video, Ian will lead us in prayer, but first we sing the song by Christopher Idle, Spirit of Holiness, Wisdom and Faithfulness, celebrating the good things which the Holy Spirit has given to us. Ian is going to lead us in a time of prayer. So let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty and everlasting God, you promised to hear us when we pray in faith. And in faith we lift our private petitions to you now, in the silence of our own hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, the, your will gets warmer every year, yet politicians simply talk about taking action to reduce harmful gases in our atmosphere. Forgive us, Father, for being poor stewards of your creation, for putting the pursuit of profit over the well-being of your world. Help us to act as individuals to reduce our carbon footprint, to not buy things for their own sake, and to reduce plastic consumption in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, the Omicron variant has shown us that we are far from being safe from mutations of this terrible virus. We ask you to give common sense to those people who refuse to be vaccinated and who spread false stories. Help us in our daily lives to keep ourselves and others safe from harm. We ask you to strengthen Nick and Toby, our bishops, and your whole church in the service of Christ, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we look to our leaders for guidance and for setting a good example for the rest of us. 
Forgive them as they fail to lead us properly, and we ask you to work in their hearts and minds, that we would return to being governed by people who hold the interest of all of society in their decision-making for the common good. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority and direct us and all nations in ways of justice and peace, that people may honour each other and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you to bless the work of this church in our parish, to bring people to a love of your Son and to faith in him. Imbue us with your Holy Spirit, that we would be a holy people, serving a holy God. Amen. We ask you to give grace to us, to our families and friends, and to all our neighbours, that we may serve Christ in one another, and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you to comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Especially we lift before you now those known to us in our daily lives. And we remember those who suffered the distress of bereavement, especially the families of those known to us. We ask you to give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of St. Luke and of all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect, the special prayer set for the second Sunday of Epiphany. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Yet let's use the Lord's Prayer as Jesus himself taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our final hymn by Francis Ridley Havergal, uh, Take My Life and Let It Be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee, uh, a very famous hymn, uh, all about the question of how the details of my life can be given back to God in love and service, and how the gift which he has given to me can be expressed uh, in making the world a better place in service of others. Please join our choir as we sing this hymn together.
And so may Christ, who has freely given us many gifts, give us also the grace of being able to discover and use them in his service, to the glory of his name and to the enrichment of others. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.